cookie swirl? See? <laughs> You're the best, Pineapple Lily. Aw, you are so sweet. Woohoo! Aloha, cookie fans! We are gonna be hanging out with Pineapple Lily, and we are gonna be creating the cutest, cutest, cutest little fruits today. Woo, we are back making absolutely adorable, adorable mini little treats. So many little treats. <laughs> Okay, I am absolutely loving this book because you actually get to create your very own adorable little kawaii foods. So in the first part, you saw me create these adorable, adorable little kawaii donuts that are very, very, very plushy. And today, ooh, because we're hanging out with Pineapple Lily at her adorable little fruit truck, we're gonna make some fruits today, some cute fruits. Okay, so this book comes with everything you need to put everything all together. So it's part book, as you can see right here. Ooh. And then this part of the book is actually all the pieces that you need to create everything right out of felt. So here are all of the little stencil pieces and all of the felt pieces. And it also comes with some of this little string. And it even comes with the little needles too to put everything together. Oh, and a bag of stuffing. So you don't need anything to create these adorable treats. It comes with everything you need. So we are gonna be making ah, some adorable little pineapples. Oh, this looks so, 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 so cute. All right, the instructions are pretty easy to follow. So here we go. So it's saying that the recipe, what we're gonna need is some yellow floss and some green floss. Yellow floss and green. Get out the little needles. There we go, be very, very careful with the needles in here. And I'm gonna need my little pineapple print cutout. So here we've got it right here, it says pineapple. Whoop, whoop, and pineapple leaf. All right, step number one is to take my felt. So I've got my yellow felt. I'm gonna take my little pineapple piece, do, 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 and I'm going to place it on here, and this is gonna be my stencil. And using a pen, I'm going to trace around the pineapple, and I'm gonna make two of them. There's one and two. And cut them out. Do, 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 do. Now that I have my pieces, it says add a diamond pattern of stitches in tan floss. So here is my tan floss. So I've got two little pieces of floss here. Thread it through the eye of the needle. Both of my little pieces of string. There we go. So to tie a knot now, I'm just going to take the loose end of my string, put it right here next to the needle and loop it around a few times. And then I'm going to just pull the needle. There we go. Whoop. And it creates a little tiny knot at the very, very end. And now I'm gonna do this little diamond pattern that is just like this on this little pineapple by just making a couple little lines just like this and then going right over them to create a bunch of little crosses. Starting right here. My little pineapple. And out. There we go, so I've got my little pineapple stitches all on there. Now I just have to add on the face. Now the book has lots of different options for faces that you can put on your fruits. Just like a regular little smiley face. You can put little rosy cheeks. You can make it wink. Oh, this one's got eyelashes. So it actually comes with these little black dots that you can pop out. Like that, take some of my black thread. There's a whole bundle of this thread and I only need two little strands just like this. Whoop, thread my needle, make a little knot. There we go. And now I just get to put my little face wherever I want it to be. There we go. And just sew these little eyes on. Be very, very, very careful. Do not get yourself with the needle. And I'm gonna add a little bit of some white to its eye, just add a tiny little cute little kawaii glimmer. So pull off two of these little strands. There we go. Ooh. Oh, don't let it knot. Oh no, ah, no. Do not tie a knot. And there we go. Doo -doo. Doo -doo. Little bit of some white in the eye. Whoop. 
Now I'm gonna go back to my black thread and I'm gonna put a little mouth on this adorable little pineapple. You can do just a regular little smiley face, kind of like what this pineapple looks like right here. But I think a little open mouth like this orange has would be really cute. You can do anything you want because this is your little fruit. So I'm just going to stitch a little cute mouth on. There is no way to mess up on this. Just making cute little kawaii foods. Just make the cutest kawaii food. Okay, look at how cute it looks already. All right, so now we're ready to start sewing the pineapple halves together. So it says using the yellow floss, attach the two pineapple sides together, but make sure to leave room for the leaf. So I have my yellow floss here. Whoop, whoop, there's a bunch of pieces, so I only need two. You can see there's a whole bunch on here. Just peel two away. So, so many pieces. Do not let it knot. Just pull it nice and easy. There we go. And I'm going to thread my needle now. Now I'm gonna create a knot at the end of this by using the very, very end of the thread, putting it on my finger and wrapping it around and sliding it down the needle. And this book teaches you how to do everything. You don't even need to know anything about sewing and this book will just make you like a pro. Whoop. So now I'm gonna take my two pieces, put them together just like that. And starting at the top here, I'm just going to sew my pineapple together. All right, now I have sewn all the way up to the top, but I left the top of my pineapple open here. So I'm going to make room for the stem. Ah, floss! So I have my green stem here. I've got my little leaf pattern, and I will just trace it out. Do, do, do. Tracing out my pineapple leaf. Do, do, do. Just trace, 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 and cut it out. Okay, that's gonna fit right here perfectly. But before I attach my leaf, we're gonna stuff the pineapple. Take some of the stuffing, just a little bit. And I do still have my needle attached, so I have to be careful. Put a little bit in here. Doo -doo. And a little bit goes a very, very, very long way. I can even use a bit of a pencil to kind of help me really stuff this pineapple. Doo -doo 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 -doo. There we go, seems pretty good. Attach my leaf, reattach my needle. And just sew this leaf on. Oh, it looks so, so, so cute! I love this little pineapple! Now I can add a little bit of some extra detail to the stem using some of the green floss, just like they have on their little pineapple. So just anywhere I want, I can just randomly put some of this little floss. Oop. Just like this, just like that. All right, there we go. The little pineapple is all done. My little poofy, poofy, little mini, 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 so cute little fruit. Oh, I love this little pineapple so much. It's so cute. What do you think, Pineapple Lily? You're right. So cute. Okay, it's so absolutely adorable. Ooh, let's make another cute fruit. How about something juicy and orangey? Oh, a little orange would be so cute. All right, so the book has an orange right here that we can easily put together. All right, ingredients. So we're gonna need orange floss, green floss, and of course, the little stencils. Let's see, stencils for the oranges. Orange stencil. Oh, look at that. It says for a cookie or the orange. We can use this. And our little leaf, perfect. Out of all the colors, we'll get out the orange. So place it down and trace around. Whoop. Do, 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 do. Ah, is my pin dying? No, don't die. No, oh no. I think my pin just died. Cut them out. All right, I have my two orange pieces. Now I'll trace out my little leaf and cut out the leaf stem. 
All right, now I want to sew a little face right on here. So I'm going to go to my black thread, thread my needle, create a little knot at the bottom. Here we go, a little knot, one little eye, and two. Sew them right on. And now sew a little happy face right on the orange. Then I'm gonna use my white little thread and I'm gonna add that little white twinkle in this little orange's eye. Just kinda adds that extra cute little something something. There we go, there we go, there we go. Look how cute! There we go, so now I just have to attach the little leaf on, which still looks a little bit big to me. So I'm just gonna kinda trim it down just a bit, just to it's a size that I like, just like that. I think that should be pretty good, just like that. And now I'm going to attach my little leaf on, and as I'm attaching it, I'm also going to create a little design on the leaf as well. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. And now I just have to stitch all the pieces together. Do 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 do. All right, now I left a little spot here for me to stuff my orange. So I got a little open area. Take my little stuffing. Doo -doo. Here we go. And stuff it right in there. Doo -doo -doo. It's a big, giant, plumpy orange. And then just sew it closed. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, check it out. Pull up a seat. Here comes another sweetie. Boing, boing, boing. It's a cute little orange. Oh, it looks so cute. It looks so adorable. I love the little orange. I made this one really, really plumpy, so it's a little bit more plumpier than this pineapple is. So there you go. You can make the most adorable, adorable little sweets. You can fit them right into my hand, just like that. These guys are super duper mini compared to the little donuts that I made. These ones are actually a lot bigger. See it compared to the donut like that? It's almost small enough to fit in the donut hole. Okay, so there you go. So donuts, pineapple, and a juicy, juicy orange, all made from this so mini treats little sewing kit set. Very, very cute. I cannot wait to make more of these adorable, adorable little mini kawaii foods. Isn't it amazing what a little face can do when you put a little face on a fruit? It just makes them so, so, so adorable. Yay, chocolatey chippy cookies. All right, I hope you will be juicing and a jumping and a smoothing on over to my next video and have the most fruitiest, smoothiest, sweetest day ever. Bye, cookie fans. Hey there, cookie fans. How well were you paying attention to the video? Did anyone notice that this blue cookie drawn by a cookie fan was actually hiding out during this video in the background? But where was this cookie hiding? On one of the chairs? On the truck window seal? Or was the cookie driving the fruit truck? 